Hi, welcome into my studio. My name is Jason Morgan. I'm an artist and another quick uh, pastel video. Looking at blending again because obviously that's usually quite a large part of pastels and one of the benefits of using them. I found another tool here people may find worth a go, something to try out. Low corner style stick and this one is a medium size. They come in different sizes different shaped ends on them as well and this is a 258M for medium and it's used from what I've seen um, crafters use it as well and it's got this kind of a soft if I get up to the camera soft tip to it I can't make out what it's made out of not a lot online really about the specifications of them but you can get them in the US and in the UK much cheaper in the US. On a previous video I've shown you some of these um, little styluses that can be handy for blending and then my cheap trusty old favorites the rice stumps as well which you can pick up lots of different brands. So let's just have a look at this new one a minute. I've got some pastel matte paper here if I just take a corner I'll put some pastel down Pastel matte paper is one of my favourites because it's not too rough and it's not too uh, shiny or smooth either. So if I put that down, and I'll do that up by here as well. Just so I can show you blending them together. So with this tool, if you want to clean it, you can get just microfiber cloth. Just rub it around doesn't look particularly clean but not much contamination will come from it then so you can use it let me just zoom in a bit perhaps I can put that over here so it's sometimes you know you can blend with your fingers and that's one of my preferred ways but sometimes you've got a very small area that you want to blend if I just go side to side with this, you can see I can quite accurately blend and it's not that dissimilar to a finger actually doing it. I can obviously go up and down as well on there. Now I can also do that with a stump. Problem with stumps is that they seem to take a lot of the pastel away. You can see that other one didn't there's a lot of it is on there quite a bit seems to be on here as well but for some reason blends much more easily now as I said in the last video I showed you these styluses let me put something down here these looked very useful they don't come in a tiny size on the end but uh, they come in fairly small sizes so I can blend with that as well and it's not as harsh a blend okay so that blends nicely as well now the problem with the stylus I found is that some of them not all of them so I just put some more pastel down for a very light color down to show you some of them you can blend and then when you push a little bit harder all of a sudden you're starting to get black marks coming off the rubber it doesn't happen to all of them seems that the larger size areas on some of these other ones is another there's a cheap one doesn't seem to do it or at least not as much so i'm a bit wary of these now for really light colors if you happen to push too hard that could be a bit of a problem because you can't really go back over it so use those with caution if you're going to use them people ask me about blending with um, cotton buds at least that's what we call them I think you call them q-tips in America and let me show you what happens with these so just put a bit of color down again if I try to lightly blend what's really happening I don't know if you can see it it's 
pretty much not blending much together and it's just taking it all off. Brushes seem to do the same, it's like a sweeping motion and just removes the pastel. So as I said, these seem quite handy, might be worth you trying them out. Now you've got to keep in mind as well the type of paper that you're using. If you're using something like UART, it's a rougher paper. This type of paper takes pastel very, very well, weighs your pencils down super quick. Okay, it's not as smooth anywhere near as smooth. This is the um, 600 grade. It's not anywhere near as smooth, smooth as pastel matte. If I try to blend these together gently, it's a completely different appearance and effect than with pastel matte. It does seem to be lifting off again. Let me try that with my finger. See if it's much different. Because for some reason, blending with your finger seems to just behave differently. I don't know whether it's the oil, slight oil in your finger, or what it is. But you see, it just blends completely different and that's what I like about using my fingers. The same type of thing happens then if you use um, Fisher paper, same thing that happens with this with the blending tools. So as I said it's something to keep in mind because each of these papers are acting differently with different tools. But I thought if I gave you an idea of some of these tools and I tell you when I find things that could potentially work for you then uh, it's worth telling you because you can try them out and just buy one try it out for yourself you may love it you may hate it for those of you that don't like touching uh, paper some you know a uh, pastel paper don't like rubbing in don't like the feel of it you can get um, from various suppliers things like finger cots which are basically just the tip of a um, glove basically and you just put them on your finger like that as I said they'll come in different sizes and then you can use your finger use this to blend instead once again that will give a different um, effect also so that's something you'll have to work out try out and see how it works for yourself as I mentioned I thought I'd just let you see a couple of these other tools that I found for you to try out if your finger is uh, a bit too large to actually blend a particular area. So I hope that quick video is of some use. There may be other tools like this out there as well. If you found something that seems to work, let me know and I'll try them out for myself. See you again real soon. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel. It's been going well over a year or so packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, it's on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go on to something else, I've got a secret Facebook group. So only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or 500 members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus. That comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well. And we've just designed a brand new companion website for it. So if you've joined other Patreons, and uh, channels and you found it very very difficult to navigate around we got this free website that comes with it all the videos are now just a single click away couldn't be any easier than it is i've also got my site jasonmorgan.co.uk lots of tutorial videos dvd discs and downloads on there and if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects i've got some of those too i've got 900 plus on my website wildlifeart-online.com and they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. 
So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.